in this video we are going to see a problem where we have to get a mesh current using the mesh analysis when dependent source is precisely a voltage dependent voltage source is given so here the problem is find mesh currents using mesh analysis for this circuit where mesh currents are this i1 and i2 so we have to get i1 and i2 for the circuit given over here if we see properly in this circuit we are having two dependent sources as for the symbol goes it's a voltage source and if you see the equation it depends upon some or other voltages so these voltages need to be marked v1 and v2 so the voltages are this this is given as v2 and this is given as v1 so based on this v2 and v1 we are having the dependent sources in this manner now whenever the voltage is given by them on which we are having a voltage or current dependent on what we will do we will encircle the polarity and will keep aside so this encirclement means what polarity given by them or given in the question it's not because of r current and will apply a current to the mesh and we develop our own polarity depending upon the current direction meaning this i1 is flowing through this 5 ohm develop the polarity plus minus it for 4 ohm plus minus this way for 1 ohm plus minus and downside and this i2 will develop the polarity like this so if you see carefully and for this 2 ohm also it is plus minus so if you see carefully for this 5 ohm and this 2 ohm there are two voltage polarities present one is given by them and second is developed by r loop current so let's see how to tackle this since a closed loop is there current is there we are ready for application of kvl to mesh number 1 so let's apply kvl to mesh 1 Let's start from the voltage source. So in this direction, plus minus. So it's a minus five. Plus minus. Remember, we have to focus on polarity developed by our current. So plus minus. This green one is our polarity. So plus minus is minus five i one. Plus minus. It's a voltage source. So it's a Minus two, v two, plus minus, minus four, i one, plus minus, minus i one, minus plus. This is because of i two, so plus i two, and minus plus, which is plus two, v one, equal to zero. so we have written a equation in this equation we have to make sure that we should have only variables i1 and i2 which are nothing but our loop currents so this v2 is a extra variable this v1 is a extra variable we need a substitution equation for this So just focus on V two, and the V two is present over here. If you see carefully, V two is nothing but voltage across two ohm, okay? And voltage across two ohm is nothing but two multiplied by current flowing through it. Now remains the question of deciding the polarity, whether it is plus or minus. Their polarity and our polarity 
both the polarities for this voltage are matching so whenever both the polarities are matching we can have a positive sign so v2 is nothing but 2 times i2 this is a substitution equation for v2 let's apply same concept for the v1 because we need a substitution for v1 as well v1 is the voltage across phi ohm but if you see carefully their polarity which i have encircled and r polarity with a green ink are mismatching if you see carefully these two are not matching whenever the two polarities are mismatching we can say that voltage has to be written with a negative sign so it is minus phi is the resistance and current is i1 so substitution substitution equation will have v2 as 2i2 and v1 as minus phi i1 so if i substitute over here i will get the equation as minus phi minus phi i1 minus 2 v2 is 2 times i2 minus 4 i1 minus i1 plus i2 plus 2 v1 is minus phi i1 equal to 0 so let's simplify this so after simplification it becomes minus phi minus phi i1 minus 4 i2 minus 4 i1 minus i1 plus i2 minus 10 i1 equal to 0 and finally it will give us minus 20 i1 minus 3 i2 equal to 5 as equation number 1 so what we have done simply we apply k wheel to mesh 1 but we got four variables we reduce two variables by using the substitution, substitution equation which we get from the circuit condition okay now let's continue this with a mesh 2 so let's apply KVL to mesh 2 so let's start from here plus minus minus 2i2 plus minus minus 10 plus minus minus 2v1 plus minus minus i2 minus plus plus i1 equal to 0 it is having an extra variable of v1 and we know v1 is nothing but minus phi i1 let's substitute so what we'll get minus 2 i2 minus 10 minus 2 into minus phi i1 minus i2 plus i1 equal to 0 simplification will give you minus 2 i2 minus 10 plus 10 i1 minus i2 plus i1 equal to 0 and in the end the equation that we will get is 11 i1 minus 3 i2 equal to 10 as equation number 2 so thing is that two loops two meshes two currents two equations and if you solve these two equations you will get the value of i1 and i2 so if you solve this two equations the values of i1 and i2 are i1 is nothing but 0 0.1613 ampere and i2 as 
माइनस टू पॉइंट सेवन फोर वन नाइन एम्पियर As minus represents whatever the direction we have assumed clockwise, need to be changed and should be made anti-clockwise. So this is the final answer for this problem. Thank you.